All right, so I take it this afternoon, we have people from both what you call Acme and both from the Virgin Ocean we, we like. Is that so? Yes. Good. So this morning, um, a team of, or a group of you would have met His Excellency, will actually visit His Excellency at his office. I know today in being Thursday is normally cabinet day. And in your engagement with His Excellency, a number of commitments were given, and I would I like to this afternoon. One was that an immediate visit by myself, led by myself and the team, here with a view of us quickly being able to be able to put you in a position to have your titles handed over. That is to signal you have your complete ownership for the land in which you all occupy here. And secondly, you also raise another concern about some infrastructure works to be done. And so the commitment is, is that the landmark issues will be addressed by myself and the Minister of Local Government and Regional Development, Minister Nigel Darnwell, will lead the aspects or the interventions with your roads because some of you raise some concerns about your road. Now, what I'm being told is that out here, this is called the Virgin Ocean Railway Line. Yes. And then on behind here, we can cover first step if you want, call it so. It's called the Acme Housing Scheme. And many of you occupy here. I see you're getting gray already, right? <laughs> so it means many of you have occupied here as long as I'm, my parents conceive me. So we're talking about 40 and 40 plus years. Isn't that so? Yes. 40 plus. But you get how old I am now, right? <laughs> so it's an old matter, it's nothing new. But I just want to remind you because I know some of you would have seen us sometime late last year it was. We were at the Farika End. And in fact, I was going through our work program for this year. And there are a number of areas that we're committing for Region 3. For we've committed that we will regularize. Because areas such as yours, there is an immediate decision that has to be taken that is if we will regularize. And then we have no objection to where you're occupying, so we will regularize. So for example, you have uh, the Good Hope Railway Line, Virgin Ocean here that we're speaking about. We have Philadelphia Railway Lines again, then a portion at Barnwell, Zealot, Virgin Ocean, well this is Acme Housing Scheme, so those are the two areas we are addressing this afternoon, as well as in Plantation, the Willem, and Virgin Ocean Plantation Tuition. A potential of about 274 lots that we are currently addressing that we have on our work program to regularize this year. So we have had this, year, this area on the focus because what we did, we started that way and we are coming down. But in, in doing all of this, there's one key ingredient that has to happen. That is to ascertain or to have the legal process of the transfer of the ownership of the land. So if, say it, in the, our case, Central Housing and Planning Authority is executing in terms of for your ownership, so in that case, we seek to transfer the lands to CHP. Now, Virgin Ocean Railway Line, which is where we are now, it's called Parcel 137. Our preliminary information, because we did do some work here, so we have done some preliminary work. There are about six to seven, five lots on this portion. And we have, we have completed the block and occupational survey. We have completed that. So that means we have a jump start to the timeline that we're working with. And may I make this announcement? And for you are the meeting, the president has given me two weeks to complete this task, right? So you understand what I'm working with. So we are completing a 40-year task in two weeks, right? Good. So we have completed the block and occupation survey. We have completed an inventory, that means, of all the persons who occupy along this stretch. 
we have already obtained the block title and right now and we have submitted the sketch plan to land and survey that is to mutate this parcel it means therefore i can safely say we will be able to complete that assignment within the two weeks timeline because we have done our preliminary work survey right so you can safely say and in fact i want to go as far to say we i'm sure all of you will want our president to be the one coming back to issue you your certificate of titles right so we're working with a two weeks timeline and so it's stream it's straightforward what has to happen here as i said some work has already started and uh, what we're expecting is that we have to complete the cadastral plan and then we'll immediately start your processing but in doing that you have to do the signing part right this so, yeah after we get it. so let's set so we have to set some date because i have yeah. to do some fixation yeah so we'll want for next week because they will come back to your community and may, may i thank whoever is it that is allowing us to use this facility yeah. may want to ask you permission to use it again one more time so that the team will come so the 26 they will come here because i have to do some preliminary work right so 26 they will come here to sign for your agreements you'll need to have your id and we will do all our complete all our preliminary work by then and which will see us being able once you sign on that Monday um, and being able to do your preliminary payments within that very week we will process for your ownership and so the, the registrar will buy by then right good so that means we'll be able to do the real real this is for here yeah good are we clear about this so mr. Charles will tell you what the process entails for your signing for your agreement of sale all right and I'm speaking here on Virgin Ocean railway line. Let's go to Acme. So the notes tells me for Acme, we have about another fifth, a six or five lots because you know it's parallel to here at the back. They have completed the block and occupational survey. They have completed an inventory of your the occupants there. They have already obtained the block title. So where we are now is we have completed the inf inventory. We within the next similar period, we will be working to complete the ownership because you know it present business time right? so we have to work behind the scenes to get this done. And the researchers they will tell me who we'll have to deal with. Yeah. But may I make this point? we are aware traditionally that stretch fell under the co-op is not so yeah. but you the members of the co-op have expressed an interest because you want to process your ownership and we understand there's only one person that was holding you up is not so so with your commitment and your agreement with all with an agreement by all of you that you want us to proceed that you want the government of Guyana to proceed on doing this, then we will move in that direction. We will now have to do, obviously, because it falls on the co-op, we'll have to do the survey. Right, Charles? Yeah. So we, there's, a, there's a, a task that is entailed there because I'll have to do the, the plan for it and then have it recorded. The surveying aspect, everything, will be done by Central Housing and Planning so we will work as quickly as possible. Out here, as I said, is faster than Acme because you fell under the co-op previously. We are committed to completing this task. And once we finish with that aspect, we will have a similar agreement signing for your agreement of sale. Now, the venue for that, would you want it to be here still? Or you have a venue in the back for those, for the persons in Acme? We will want to do that. Right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. Oh, we got oh we have permission for use it. Good. <laughs> so my intention is to have both of you sign on the same day. That is Monday the 24th, we said? 26? Monday the 26th for all of you to be able to come in here and sign. Yes, because they have your information. 
and they will be here throughout the day yes. starting from nine o'clock mr charles will go through with you what are the documents when you come that you have to bring to have your agreement signed all right and the process after that the lady that is involved for a processing of your your title is right over there miss stevens but she can't do anything until you are finished with your your part and that is to have it signed you can't do anything on, until we are finished on our part to do the plan have it recorded and be able to to be able to the process for your ownership are we clear yeah. good thank you